All right, all right, guys. This is Acer of Spades over here in State 93 in Rise of Empires. Today, we are going to break down the Rise of Empires area cleansing operation. What makes it important, what rewards to get and what not to get, because guess what? You can't get them all and exactly how to get there, guys. So stay tuned. This is going to be a great video. Let's go. So first things first, what exactly is the area cleansing operation? Um, in Rise of Empires, as well as in Lash Up to Survival, for you fans that are from there, this is the first major event uh, that you will get access to as a new base. And by the way, it's one of the most important. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to kill as many of the undead as you possibly can of each different type at all levels to achieve massive bonuses and access to amazing rewards. So why is it so important? There are rare heroes, guys, in Rise of Empires that are worth their weight in platinum, found in the Cleansing Operation Rewards. Some of these are the fastest ways to increase your hero's power and to upgrade their abilities are found right here inside the Rewards of Cleansing Operation. And in a few, we're going to go over exactly what those are, but let's figure out how to crush it first. As you see me scrolling down this list, you're no doubt going to run in once you get past all these different zombie kills and their points associated with that to the technology that are also associated. So the reference tech that you're seeing right here where it says tech, novice, peace bringer, etc. in your technology tree can be found in basic combat. So as you make your way past the courage approval, the footman promotion, cavalry promotion, etc., you're going to finally run into the Novice Rebel Slayer as well as Novice Empire Defender. Finally, of course, once you get down to the end, past all the other amazingness, you're going to get to the advanced versions of the same exact thing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get through this list as fast as possible, but don't forget to also alternate between that and your class Legion research. As you can see, both mine are maxed and the cleansing operation isn't even done yet. These are both incredibly crucial because both of these technologies are going to increase the size of your legion, the strength of your legion, and help you make easier and make it a lot easier to kill some of the high level undead, which you're going to need to do to complete the cleansing operation and get the most maxed out points. For more tips on this and to give you more information on this exact area and more, obviously, I said more like three times, there's going to be a video at the top right. You can look at it right now. If you click that or look in the description below after this video for the exact same link, it will give you some more huge super tips to help you crush it. So let's move forward onto the buildings. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your encampments at, at pretty high levels. I'm currently based, uh, excuse me, Castle 18. But uh, my encampments are only around 12 or 13. The reason being is because you only need them to be so high. Still, you are going to need them to improve the training speed of your units, as well as the quantity of units you actually produce. And more importantly, I think than all, would be the class training grounds. I typically keep mine off-road. That'll be in that video in the description I was just talking about. But anyway, it's relatively inexpensive to upgrade because it uses mostly food, which is the most expensive. The only reason I'm not taking it to 18 right now is because I want to go to Castle 19 and I need that exact same amount of food to get there. Now, just like the tech I mentioned above, this is really, really important. You're going to grow much faster if you specialize, meaning do not spread your limited resources especially early on on multiple training grounds i have access to four of them at this point and that's because i'm at castle 18 and that's when you'll also get access but that does not mean i'm leveling them all up to 17 or 18. your goal is to get one super strong legion fully unlocked and strong enough to defeat those high level undead if i were to spread my resources out i'd either not be castle 18 or my current legion would not be maxed out which allows me to release three orange heroes at one time which allows me to kill those zombies quite easily so to buy or not to buy completing the operation and maxing out those points like i mentioned before will not allow you to buy all of the items on the entire list so that's a common misconception you will not get all these check marks here and be able to buy every single thing that you see listed so that means you got to be particular and picky when you choose what to spend your points on so i'm going to go ahead and list down what i bought and you can obviously clearly see it on video here but still you're going to want to start in this order wisdom medals at the top right x30 
each and every time you purchase that, it gives you those wisdom medals, which increase your hero strength and increase the amount your troop can carry as long as you increase the technology and reference with that with those wisdom medals. But that is absolutely crucial because the higher level kills, the more points you're going to get, the easier it is to get the rest of the things on the list. The second thing I suggest you get, I would suggest you save your points until you can afford the advanced recruitment tickets, X-15. Um, they are absolutely incredible, especially with a little luck. You're going to get either more powerful heroes or worst case scenario, you're going to get duplicate blue heroes, which you can simply exchange for more wisdom medals. Again, doing the same thing referenced above. Next, I would suggest on the bottom right, the normal recruitment ticket X-15. Reason being is because same reason as above, you're either going to get really, really lucky or worst case scenario, you're just going to get more blue heroes and green heroes to exchange. And there's nothing wrong with that. Wisdom is life. Next up, you're going to want to save for the Swift, Wild Horse, and Rogue. These are purple heroes, and guys, they're incredible. They each specialize in their own. The Swift is my favorite because he is a cavalry specialist. Their skill percentages, as well as their points and what they give and offer, are absolutely exceptional. I highly suggest you keep at least a Swift. And worst case scenario, if you don't want to use any of them because you have these orange heroes just out of nowhere, you're like the luckiest guy in the world, you can split them all, get the Wisdom Medals, and still increase the legion of your orange heroes. Either way, wisdom is life, I say again. And then finally, get all the blue heroes. Now, the rare heroes I was talking about were Lady Knight, the Sergeant, and Shifu. What they specifically do in their own regard for each one of they do, they're going to increase your training speeds like encampments do. They're going to increase the training count as well as give you free up to 500 of the highest trainable tier unit in their own respective class. Now, this is important because that means even if you had tier 9 units, the highest you can get, I believe, currently in this game, you're going to get 500, 500 of them free every single day just by having Lady Knight. And good luck finding her in a regular ticket because that doesn't happen very often. I highly suggest you get her and increase her skills, everything but the first one, because she's going to increase that anyway every time you train Calvary. So you don't need to increase that skill. Just increase the next few and do it sparingly because you're going to want to increase your Legion skills first. Now, that being said, guys, final thoughts. Do not buy gold or the hero EXP at the bottom left. Now, just side note, I didn't get Shifu because he's for footmen. I'm not going to be using footmen very often, at least not in the beginning. So I will take my chances of getting him with hero tokens later on. Um, and just to finish what I was saying, though, the 250,000 gold times four, or excuse me, four of those would be 100,000 gold. Guys, it's, that means it's going to give you a maximum of a million gold and it will cost you 100 of your points. You'll notice very quickly getting 100 points takes a lot getting any of this gold is stupid you can do that either raiding if you're a raider or you're going to collect that much as a trader anyway every day there's no point of buying it with your points that are limited and hero exp unfortunately it's literally giving you the equivalent of one purple hero exp which is fifty thousand exp you're going to get that on any given chest like a gold chest so that would just be really, really dumb. Instead, focus on your hero hours and your training hours. Get those gold chests and knock out KE, and you'll get all the hero EXP you need also. Spending your hard-earned tokens on that, not getting things like Lady Knight Shifu, the Swift, and the advanced recruitment tickets, well, you're really missing out. So avoid them at all cost and make sure you crush it. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this video was exceptionally helpful for completing the area cleansing operation more videos to come. I really do like Rise of Empires. And uh, guys, like and subscribe, Acer of Spades, and I'm signing out.